what is art? It's a question that has puzzled, intrigued, and at times divided us for centuries. It's a question that takes us to the heart of Paris, to the banks of the River Seine, where a local artist named Barnabas Boogery and a young boy named Thomas had a rather interesting encounter. Barnabas is enjoying a beautiful day in Paris, paintbrush in hand. Before him, the canvas waits, silent and expectant, like a stage before the first note of a symphony. He muses on the dance of an orchestra's instruments, each movement guided by the conductor's baton, mirroring his own dance with the brush. With a masterful rhythm, his hands weave magic, each stroke a lyric, each brush movement a masterpiece. Thomas, a curious young lad, was admiring Barnabas Bougery's work, eyes wide with wonder. He is mesmerized by the old man's ability to transform a blank canvas into a vivid representation of life. A silent bond forms between the master and the young apprentice. Barnabas Bougery, sensing the boy's eager spirit, turns with a spark of shared understanding in his eyes. A wink, a moment's pause. Noticing Thomas's fascination, turned and asked him, What do you see? The next day, Thomas got a great idea and went looking for Barnabas Boogery. He found him close to the river. He asked him with careful words, Can I paint too? I want to try. Barnabas smiled and gave Thomas his paints and a paintbrush and pulled out a large canvas and attached it to an easel. Emulating the old man's silent contemplation, Thomas's eyes were filled with possibilities. His heart throbbed with anticipation and his hands began to move. Each stroke was careful, precise, a reflection of his enduring determination. Slowly his creation began to take form. It may not have been filled with colors and intricate details, but instead it was a stark white background with a solitary black dot right in the center. The spectators exchanged confused glances, their excitement replaced with bewilderment. Was this art? They whispered and gasped. Barnabas Boogery too was taken aback. He navigated through the crowd, his eyes fixated on the lone black dot. His face contorted into a grimace of disbelief. What is this? This isn't art. All I see is a dot, a black dot. While the artist held his head in puzzlement, he and the other onlookers scoffed and mocked Thomas. Thomas noticed the chaos, but he held his ground. Thomas knew, in his heart, that art was more than just colors and pretty pictures. It was about imagination, about seeing the unseen, about creating a world of possibilities from a single thought, a single dot, if you will. Sir, what if this dot is actually something cool? Like, imagine it's a tiny black pea flying super fast and getting stuck in a big elephant's nose. And then the elephant sneezes so loud it sounds like thunder. Or it could be a black marble that someone left on the playground. It might even be a close-up of a tiny ladybug or the black eight ball from a pool game waiting to be hit. Or maybe it's the nose of a white fluffy dog. This dot is my masterpiece. Isn't painting also about seeing things your own way, feeling stuff, and showing what you think? It's like when people don't agree on something and they've been talking about it forever, but both sides are kind of right in their own way. What do you see?